Lagos has descended into chaos. Gunfire rang out, shops were looted, and a prison was set ablaze in Nigeria's biggest city on Thursday, prompting the president to call for calm. I therefore call on our youth to discontinue the street protests and constructively engage government in finding solutions. Your voice has been heard loud and clear, and we are responding. People are losing faith in their security forces and the government after 12 protesters were allegedly killed earlier this week. Peaceful protests against a police unit known as SARS had been underway across the country since earlier this month, with the unit accused of torturing and killing citizens. They are shooting. Live from the answers, they are shooting. But tensions escalated on Tuesday night when security forces fired into a crowd of protesters singing the national anthem, according to Amnesty International. From what we are seeing on the ground, clearly, um, the, they did not respect um, international human rights law and Nigeria's constitution as well um, in terms of protecting people's lives and securing uh, people's um, safety. The incident sparked condemnation from the international community and violent unrest within the country. Mobs vandalized and burned police stations, courthouses and TV stations while police fought back but the Nigerian military has denied shooting at the protesters. To our neighbors in particular, and members of the international community, many of whom have expressed concern about the ongoing development in Nigeria, we thank you and urge you all to seek to know all the facts available before taking a position or rushing to judgment and making hasty pronouncements. The president said he was pained by the loss of innocent lives, but did not directly acknowledge the protest shootings. It's a rhetoric that may not be well received by the Nigerians who have been calling for an end to corruption for weeks. And with us now from Lagos, Nigeria, is correspondent Fred Muvini. Fred, tell us, uh, we heard that President Buhari has called for calm. Are his comments appeasing Nigerians? Uh, no, not really. Some Nigerians were saying that this is actually a defiant statement and uh, they see this as actually a warning rather than asking them, you, you know, to, 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 to come on the table and negotiate. But also he did actually mention that uh, people should, uh, the youth should come forward and negotiate. But uh, uh, we all know that there is no one who is heading these protests. So even talking about negotiations is actually almost impossible. Do we know more about what really happened earlier this week? Yeah, we, we, we know that, uh, for example, uh, military officers opened fire and at least more than a dozen people were killed. Uh, so, uh, from that, that point, has been done in terms of addressing that issue and making sure that people actually are held accountable. Rather, we have seen the military saying that they were not responsible, they were not behind anything like, like that. The protests, they started over police brutality, the discontent, however, growing much deeper, doesn't it? Yes, yes. If you look at this, uh, the issues here in Nigeria, people talk about unemployment rate, which is very, very high. We also had a report that more than 70 percent households in major states in this country had to skip their meals uh, during COVID-19, even up to now. There are so many issues, including bad governance, people are talking about. So it's not just about the police brutality, it's about everything that this country is going through at, the, uh, at this moment. Fred Movini, thank you so much.